Hey guys, so uh, welcome to the week one summary and lessons learned. Now, I know that I'm posting a lot of content and I'm sure that some of you guys maybe are not able to necessarily watch every video. So I thought it'd be a fantastic idea at the end of every week to do one of these sort of summary videos um, where we talk about just what happened this week. And most of all, of course, what were the observations that I made? What have we learned? Um, because again, a lot of this is also experimental, right? This is, um, it's a highly informed experiment based on many years of experience that I have and in writing the book, um, <clears throat> all about this topic. Um, but you never stop learning. And so that's what this is all about. So let's just jump right in. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the two tracking sheets. So uh, part one, how did the week go? Let's do a summary. So uh, Portuguese. So in Portuguese, here's my tracking sheet. It might be slightly blurry. This is all babble related and this is music. Um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna put photographs of both of these in the Google Drive share folder. Um, that I gave you guys the link for free. That link will be here or here and also in the description. So I'm gonna have basically week one, week two, week three. Every single week I will upload photographs of my tracking sheets. So you guys can truly follow along with me. Um, and so here we go. So right now I finished uh, the first two levels of Babel. So we have beginner one and beginner two. And then I'm five lessons into level three. So that's a total of 46 lessons um, in seven days. So the first two days I was doing like 10 a day. Uh, that was bound to slow down a bit. But honestly, I'm, I'm very content with, uh, with how much I got done. <clears throat> and then I did uh, study the entirety of a song, Flor et Obeja Flor. Um, so I will keep practicing my songs and at some point I'll start singing them for you guys as well. Um, and in German, this one's a bit more interesting. So let's take a look at the sheet, a snapshot. <coughs> so you'll see a little bit of yellow here. These are all songs. And then this is the easy German stuff. So we have graded readers, songs, and easy German. Um, now, <coughs> I also did speak to myself quite a lot in both languages, but particularly in German. Um, <clears throat> Germans are really, it's really, you know, it's a language that I'm just dying to, to, to smash through that barrier that we keep talking about, right? So for some reason, I just really wanted to talk to myself a lot in German. And I think also, you know, I had the opportunity to speak with my friend Viviane in Portuguese, whereas I don't currently really have anybody to speak German with. So <clears throat> I think I spoke to myself in German a bit more in order to sort of compensate for that. Um, <clears throat> so let's just... Portuguese. Um, well, no, let's keep, let's keep going with German. So what you'll notice right at, right at the start is that I didn't get much reading done. <coughs> Only that. And that is very surprising. Um, or is it? It's actually not surprising at all. Um, but, it's a, but, I, but I'm not going to lie. I thought I would get more done, right? So it's a bit surprising on one hand, but looking back on it, I'm like, it's okay, that's okay. It's not not a huge surprise. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, well, I'll tell you right, right now. So basically, what we can learn from this first week um, is definitely the true power of dead time. <clears throat> okay, so, and I said this in one of the videos this week, that there's no question that, that your dead time activities are truly what will carry you, okay, through this process. So uh, you'll have days and you'll have weeks that are absolutely epic, right? Where you just get like a bunch of like intensive reading or some studying your language course or you're watching a film and, you know, you're just, you're doing everything, right? Including your actual study activities. 
But the thing is, you're going to have days and you're going to have weeks where you simply aren't able to make time for your dedicated study, right? To sit down uh, doing nothing else but studying your language. And they're going to happen. And so your dead time, that's, that's what really lives on through those difficult weeks. And so if you have a really sophisticated plan, right? So just so if, in case you guys don't know, this is also available in the Google Drive, <clears throat> my dead time planner. So the, the reason why Babel got done, right? Music was studied. Um, and the reason why I didn't get a lot of German reading done is because um, I don't have a lot of dead time in my current schedule where I'm sitting on a bus uh, and where I can do passive reading, for example. So I have lots of dead time, but just the way my current schedule is, um, not a lot of that is conducive to reading. Okay, so that's why I got lots of listening done. I got lots of speaking to myself done. Um, I got Babel done when I was like just, and so Babel obviously requires my hands, but the thing about Babel is I can do Babel for like 30 seconds, two minutes, five minutes. Uh, and I accumulate large amounts of time throughout the day. When it comes to reading, um, it's not so easy to just like start reading for 30 seconds and then have to put it down, right? Or start reading while you're standing in line and then like put it down. So I think that's why I just tend to find it very easy to get a lot of babble done. <clears throat> um, and so I think that's the biggest lesson from week one is just that's how powerful dead time is. So really focus on having a robust plan uh, of what you're doing with your dead time and work on being disciplined um, <clears throat> with your dead time. Uh, and that will carry you. So I, I think that that's a great lesson for week one. Um, so it's also important for us to sort of week by week, how can we improve, right? What would we like to do better? So there's no question I would like to read more in German. Um, Definitely, because I have quite a lot of reading material here on the sheet. Um, and you might know that my biggest goal is to read Ein ganzes Leben. That's a novel. <clears throat> I already have it. Here it is. Ein ganzes Leben by Robert Zedhaler. And that's really like one of my ultimate goals is to, because I, I uh, you know, most of these books are all in different languages. I only have a tiny section of books in English. So reading in different languages is truly a passion of mine, something I love. And that's when I take off. Once I'm able to start reading books comfortably, it's, it's all over. At that point, I can start to acquire extremely high levels um, <clears throat> in a very short period of time. And I also find that's what helps me to really solidify my language skills, right? So the languages where I've read a ton, um, those languages really stick with me. Um, so I want to get to that, right? So I think that's my big goal for next week. So just in case you couldn't see, there are only three chapters that I read of the first graded reader. <coughs> I know it's blurry on the screen. Um, so I would seriously like to finish the first graded reader and I'm going to set myself a challenge. Um, I would like to finish the first graded reader and I would also like to finish the second one this next week. Um, so that's something I have to really try to be disciplined with and get done. So there we go. Just to recap, uh, Babel got plenty of, uh, sorry, Portuguese got lots of Babel done, a little bit of music and that's about it. Uh, and then speaking to myself, <clears throat> German, I uh, didn't get much reading done. Uh, I did study quite a few songs um, and I did also do a good bit of easy German, which was wonderful. And I spoke to myself a lot. So number one lesson learned is that dead time truly will carry us through. So the more stuff we can get done in our dead time, the more we guarantee ourselves to, to really stick to our plans and to continue progressing. And my goal for next week, um, among other things, but my big goal where I could improve is doing a lot more reading in German. So there we have it. So I'm really glad you guys have stuck with me for this week. If you're new here, then welcome. I know I just had my podcast with Chris Broholm uh, go on 
the air uh, yesterday, so perhaps some new faces. Welcome. And let's just have a, let's have a huge week too. Please comment, uh, let me know how your week went, let me know how your language studies are going, you know, and tell me, what did you learn, uh, either from your own language studies, or what did you learn from this series? What did you get the most out of this week? And let's set goals, right? So comment below, let's all talk about it. Tell me your goals for next week, and that's it. Let's have an amazing week too.